the next 30 days, I'm gonna be attempting the 30 day carnivore challenge. Now I call it a challenge and actually, I don't really see it as a challenge because it's definitely, excuse the pun, something I feel I can get my teeth into. I've been eating carnivore on and off for a few months now and I've had some incredible benefits for it. I'm gonna go into this, into my backstory a little bit during this video, also talk to you about what's gonna be some of the rules and restrictions, perhaps even the challenges that I foresee on this challenge, but also talk to you about the many benefits which I can expect as well. Now, there are a ton of videos online about the carnivore diet. So if you're new to it and you wanna go and get the background and learn more about it, go and search on there because there's some much more proficient experts than me. I'm just gonna give it a go and I'm gonna share my real life testimony every week through a series of videos like this. Let me talk to you a little bit about what I see carnivore as. So carnivore is eating predominantly animal products, okay? Now for me, I'm going whole hog and I'm gonna do steak, eggs and cheese, bit of butter, little bit of dairy in my tea, and that's it, so, so nothing else. I have done food challenges like this in the past. For the last four or five years, I've done a 30 day no sugar challenge, and I've had massive benefits from that, including cutting out withdrawal symptoms, my skin just got better, I looked like I'd bloody become younger, I lost a ton of weight, really sorted out my, uh, my eating there. And I see the benefits of this carnivore to be much more powerful than that. What I aim to do is have about a pound of steak every day, there or thereabout, maybe a little bit more. A couple of eggs, it'll be a, a mix of hen eggs, duck eggs, goose eggs, whatever eggs I can kind of buy and just add a bit of variety and also hard cheeses. I'm including the hard cheese because I'm constantly trying to work on my gut bacteria over the last few years, I've not been well. Um, I started to develop symptoms around 2019 as COVID hit. I had COVID a load of times, and it would suggest that my immune system is definitely suppressed in some way. So I'm constantly trying to improve my gut flora and my gut microbiome. Um, hard cheeses as a way of doing that. Before this challenge, I ate a load of sauerkraut, kimchi, kombucha, lots of different stuff to try and get some good bacteria in there. And I've actually had my um, gut bacteria tested using the Zoe app. And if you don't know anything about the Zoe app, I will do a video about the Zoe app and I'll do a full review on that. Um, and actually my gut bacteria came back in a very good state. So I don't know what it was like before. I started eating all those kind of foods. Um, I just know what it's like now. So I'm gonna include the hard cheese just to keep that microbiome in the right sort of bracket, if you like. So basically I'll be eating meat, eggs, butter, a little bit of cheese over the next 30 days and just tracking my progress. So I'll do weekly updates similar to to this I'll show you all my all my weight loss I'll do a blood test at the end as well just to kind of get results on that and see what the difference is I've got a set of bloods right now you know and exactly where my bloods are as it stands at the minute hopefully we'll be able to see a big difference and see what improvements or what effects eating just me as hard in these 30 days. The difference I've found with eating carnivore is that I only actually need to eat once a day. So I usually have like a big meal in the morning. I make a bit of a, of a, of a ritual of it where I've got a big butcher's block, big rustic butcher's block, and I'll have a big slab of steak, a little bit of cheese, a couple of eggs on top, which I've fried in butter. Okay, and I'll sit there because it's it, some of it's quite tough. It, it slows me down. I'm notoriously fast eater, you know, when I'm eating carbs and stuff, and a normal, like a Western style diet, I just throw it down my neck like I'm like a pig just like in the trough. When I'm eating carnivore, I really, really slow down. Now, whether that's helped with the signals in regards to satiety and feeling full, I don't really know, but I definitely, definitely eat a lot less. And that leaves me with a load of time that I don't really know what I'm gonna do with. I think instead of having like, lunch, dinner, and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna be doing like odd jobs around the house just to keep myself busy. I've gotta say before I start this challenge, if you if this inspires you to give it a crack, then I just encourage you to speak to your uh, medical professional before you do. I'm not a doctor in any way, shape, or form. Um, I do work in the health industry. I have taught nutrition, fitness, and exercise before, but, but I'm not a doctor, so you shouldn't really take my advice. So make sure you speak to a doctor or a medical professional before you even try and attempt something like this. The biggest benefits I see from this diet is 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 weight loss. I think my, my weight will naturally just reduce. Any different energy, uh, like I said, since 2019, I've been suffering with these chronic 
fatigue symptoms. Now, I've not had any kind of formal diagnosis. I am working towards a diagnosis, trying to work out exactly what's going on. Um, but I have bouts of mega depression, flat mood, post-exercise malaise, sore throat, flu-like symptoms, bouts of, of not necessarily insomnia, but I just can't stay asleep. And no matter how much I sleep or rest, whether I'm in little granddad naps in the middle of the day, I just don't feel refreshed. So I'm hoping that I can see a big difference in those symptoms. I think one of the biggest challenges is gonna be like social dining. And you know, one of the big things that myself and my wife enjoy, we both work for ourselves and work from home and just nipping out for a coffee or nipping out for breakfast or lunch is a massive thing for us. You know, we really, really enjoy it. And one of the benefits of working for yourself is you have got the ability to do that. You have got the freedom to do it. And you know, I won't necessarily be able to do that because I'm gonna be doing the, the 30 day challenge so that's going to be tough however what I can tell you is you know the periods where I've done carnival before my cravings and my drivers to eat have diminished massively okay so it might be that I just go for the coffee have a water or something like that my wife can still eat and do whatever she wants to do and I'll just be content with having a drink but that's definitely going to be a challenge and we'll talk about that as the weeks progress so over the next couple of days and weeks and the rest of the month, I'm gonna be sharing how I prepare my meat, where I'm storing it, how I'm cooking it, you know, where I'm sourcing it from, the different types of salt. I'm just gonna be giving a, a load of background information uh, on what I'm doing and just try and document it and, uh, and chronicle it as best I can. So stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe because not only does it help out this channel, but it also gets this information out to the people that really need to see it. And it means that you don't have to go chasing videos. Every time I drop a new video, if you, if you hit the like bell, you'll get a notification. So it means you won't miss any of the updates. So what do I do if it kind of goes wrong? Well, the thing is with these challenges, and like I said, I've done these challenges, like sugar-free challenge for 30 days in the past. And, and quite often we sort of, you know, we, we fall off the wagon or make a mistake or something like that. And we throw in the towel and call it a day. And that's not what this is about. Now, if I do make a mistake and something creeps in, all I'm gonna do is just readjust, get back in the wagon and crack on. This isn't a test of like self-discipline and determination. This is this is a, a, a method in which to get some incredible health benefits. That's what I'm chasing. I'm not chasing the fact, you know, that I can call myself a really determined and disciplined person. Now, I don't, expect anything to kind of creep in and don't expect to be making any kind of of, uh, of poor decisions okay but if it does happen i'm just gonna get back on the wagon and i think that's a really adult mature way of dealing with this instead of throwing in the towel having a paddy wait until monday comes around again to kick off again i'm not sure when you watch this but i do envisage a small support group for anybody that wants to take on this challenge in the future if that is up and running by the time you watch this video then i'll stick a link down below and i'll also chronicle every resource and little bits of information that i talk about uh, and that i share and use myself in the links below that it's really handy resource for you to find more information and get some of the stuff that I'm using. So I want to invite you along onto this journey. The Carnivore Challenge for 2024. Today is the 1st of January, it's day one. And what I encourage you to do is just check out this video on my, on my other channel where I talk a little bit about my illness and background and all that kind of stuff. So uh, until the next update, take care.